In this video, we're going to discuss what are the differences between a TN panel, an IPS panel, and a VA panel, what are the pros and cons, and which one is right for you for 2021. So stick around until the end of this video. By the way, if you want to see more PC hardware reviews and PC tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet, and let's get it on with the video. Now, you may ask, what are these panels for and how do I choose which one is right for me? Especially now that refresh rates and response times are irrelevant because of the technological advances. Irrelevant how? Stick around for the video as we discuss the pros, pros and cons of each one until the end. But before that, blah, 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 blah. one is the TN panel. So the TN panels tend to have fast response time. That is what they are known for. So if you are gaming fast-paced games like first-person shooting games, then a TN panel is for you. Now, the cons of this one is the color accuracy and the viewing angles so if you want to play your game while you are viewing tilted then that would be a problem but if you are a gamer then this is no problem for you as the tn panel when you are playing you are facing the monitor directly on your face even though modern tn panels have 95 percent srgb coverage the color is still meh in my opinion and another thing that plagues the tn panels is the black or the contrast ratios now you can only notice that if you commonly play in the dark you might see that the blacks are a little bit washed out but to me that's not really a problem as i've been using this tn monitor since the beginning of time when i began this pc journey of of mine now let's move on to the ips we have the asus rog PG32UQ. Now, this one, the benefits of having an IPS panel, regardless of the model, regardless of the brand, is that we have the best viewing angles. That is one. So, like if you have a really huge 4K monitor, then the viewing angle is really, really nice. Second is the color accuracy. Now, the most accurate of these ones are actually this one when I'm editing. And another one is the color contrast the cons of an ips panel is only the price okay so because ips panels are more expensive to manufacture than these ones for example this one we have the tn and moving on to the last one which is the va panel 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 <laughs> which is a va vertical align get it get kidding aside no we just mounted this vertical because this is how i set up but for this va panel this is the one that i was using before i had that now this one the benefits of a va panel is like it's like the best of both worlds one it has really good color reproduction actually is it is as good as the ips in my opinion because i also do photo editing and i do video editing this is actually good enough for creators if you ask me although if you really want that color uh, wide range of gamut of colors you can never go wrong with an ips so aside from the color accuracy, this has a really, this has the best black contrast ratio, 1 to 5,000. Which means that on night scenes or if you're playing on the dark, this is the best one. Also, if you are into curved monitors, then buy probably the one that you are checking out is a VA panel. Because most of the panels right now that are in the market that are curved are mostly commonly VA panels. Now, one of the common issues that we encounter or the cons of a VA panel is ghosting if you're playing like really, really fast FPS games. And also, on entry-level VA panels, the response time is really slow. Response time is really slow on entry-level. But on high-end, the response time are like, as I've said earlier, the response time and the refresh rate is really not an issue anymore as of the technological advances. So, for our recommendation on this video on what to practically buy, if you are a gamer and you are on a budget, of course, a TN panel, you cannot go wrong with a TN panel. Although, as I've said earlier, it has the worst viewing angles among these three monitors or three panels, you will not play your game facing the side, right? You will play it head-on facing the monitor, so this is your best bet. However, if you are a gamer and you want the best of the best, then you cannot go wrong with any of these now as the IPS panels now already have good refresh and response rates. Same with the VA. But I am actually leaning towards a VA panel as when I use this for gaming, I really like deep blacks, okay? I don't like white 
like whitewashed blacks because you will really notice if you are playing on a dim or a dark place or a dark room you will really notice that the blacks sometimes here and on here are a little bit washed out this has deep blacks like true blacks if you ask me now if you are a creative for example then think no more invest in an ips monitor as if you have critical like critical coloring work if you are a professional colorist or yeah then an ips panel will really benefit you as the wide color gamut that it provides you will also be yeah very useful but don't get me wrong okay i use this va panel for editing for my personal work for example i i edit raw files and i edit slug3 files from the sony one i use this one because i like the color reproduction although color can color can be calibrated for both of these i like the deep blacks and this is good enough for me for my use case scenario for, from when i tested this va panel is is really great and i like the curved the curved angle of this one basically it will come to your pre personal preference but for me as a creative i chose this one because of the widescreen that it has i have more timeline in adobe premiere and i can do editing side by side with that said like if you like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet by the way the most watched video of this channel is this one if you haven't watched it yet and you want to know more about ups search protectors and power supplies watch that one please do and like if you like this video and subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't subscribed yet and if you have any questions comment down below and thank you for thank you for supporting this channel as well and if you subscribe that would mean more to us that would actually mean a lot to us because it will help us pump out more contents such as this one and give you advice on pc hardware and do pc reviews and see you on the next video it has a very very risk one is the tn panel now the tn panel that we have here is the aoc one is the tn panel so the t and you are better off and also another thing and also that and also another thing that you can only me let's move now let's now the the this one is the ipl pi the